Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to add a refresher to a page in order to load asynchronous data in INIC. We are going to use INIC refresher which comes by default. In INIC, the refresher provides a pull to refresh functionality on a page content. The pulling icon and the spinner in the refresher is provided by default in INIC 2. We have two methods to the refresher which is cancel and the complete. We have the states which returns the current state of the refresher. This includes inactive, pulling, cancelling, ready, refreshing and completing. We have the properties which has the default values for close duration as 280 pull max which is the addition of pull minimum plus 60 and pull minimum as 60 and snapback duration is 280. We have the SAS variables in order to override the refresher styles. We have height, the color of the icon, the font size used for the refresher, the text color text font size as well as the border color of the refresher. Now we are going to add a refresher to our INIC application. I have a side menu INIC application installed. You need these two components which has to be added. First you need to add iron refresher as a child of iron content. You can see the iron refresher added. I have do refresh method which is added in my TypeScript file. I am going to save these files. Here I have called the complete method after the milliseconds of 4000 which is 4 seconds. After 4 seconds, the refresher will get closed. And here are the attributes. Pulling icon as arrow drop down. Pulling text as pull down. And the spinner as circles. And the refreshing text. The app is getting built. Now going to the page, I am going to do a pull, you can see the effect. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.